Today I'm in a slightly different part of the forest. Um, I just went down a different road and yeah, uh, already had my first find. As you can see, it's a, I think it's a German K98 or MG 3442 bullet right there in the um, in this little mountain. Oh, I don't want to fall down. It's really steep here. But oh, that's really interesting. So. Probably it was shot right in there. <laughs> Isn't that just cool? You can see the lead right there. And I hope it's going to clean up really nicely with the electrolysis so we can still see the rifling marks. Yeah, well, I'm going to carry on. See you then. So I've been detecting for quite a while now. I haven't really found much. Just found this. I think this is an old path, and I also found a bit of an old. Um, bottle there but nothing interesting apart from that um just pop um well this just popped up as you can see it's the base of um an old pot or something and it's definitely old because it's i think it's stoneware and um yeah this the way this is made i think this is about 300 years old so i'm definitely gonna take this with me because it's a really nice piece and i do like this stoneware stuff um as long as it's not the relatively new stuff with the, you know, the blue paint on it and everything. I really like this old stuff though. And um, I'm gonna carry on, maybe there's some more here. Unfortunately this area is very trashy, as you can see I found another shotgun shell casing and there's a lot of nails and wire and stuff around. I think there was a house here, um, well it could be possible. I haven't found any interesting things like coins or something, but it could be possible, as you can see, I think the old path goes up here, down there, and then along there. This is where I found the stoneware thing. I'm gonna carry on, maybe I'll find something interesting. See you then. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? Right next to the shotgun shell casing, a 50 caliber shell casing. Probably the more in 1943 again. Um, still need to clean up the other ones now, I've got even more. Not that I'm complaining, of course, um, but I'll oh, carry on. Oh wait, no, it's not, it's from Twin Cities, 1940-something. Uh, the second stamp seems to be missing, or it's from 1944, because the US arsenals often didn't uh, put the second four in, they just used the four to, say, 1944. So, yeah, that's interesting. I haven't gotten one from Twin Cities from 1944 yet, if it is. Um, otherwise, it's still nice, because I think my third one from Twin Cities, uh, yeah, I'll carry on. No, that's interesting. <laughs> Just look at that. 70 years since it was fired, and yet it's still on the surface. St. Louis, 1943. Isn't that just cool? I think this spot is actually not as boring as I thought, so maybe I'll stay here for a couple minutes more before I go to the actual spot or just change locations altogether. See you then. Now oh, this is cool. It's a little locket, I think. Oh, it's a heart and I think there should have been a stone and it has a hole in the bottom, so maybe you could open it or something, also has a hole in the top, and it was on a chain, maybe a, a bracelet or something. Um, yeah, that's really cool, it was quite deep, about um, 4 inches, 10 centimeters, something like that. So, it could be pretty old, I mean, it's got some nice patina on it, uh, patina, whatever you want to pronounce it. Um, gonna carry on because it seems like this part of the forest is actually rather interesting. Well I'll see you if I have my next to find. And another one. This one's from Des Moines in 1943. I'm gonna carry on now. Now this is really cool as well as you can see it's uh, well, I don't quite know what it is. Some type of a pin or something. Uh, don't really know what. I um, think it's supposed to be a beer mug or something. Uh, kind of looks like it. And this, I think, is Mother of Pearl. 
looks like it at least and the rest is in copper or bronze I don't quite know but that's a really cool find uh, yes you can see here well, if it's gonna focus of course you see the area yeah so I'm gonna carry on now really again well, I don't know what it is but I'm gonna take it out now I think it's a German one yeah Let's see if it's actually wartime. I think it is. I'll come back to you when it's cleaned. It is. Uh, it's from 1925, so it's a very early one, and it's from Polte. And it's in really nice condition, as you can see. It, well, it wasn't the surface, so it's not much of a surprise. And well, this is, I think, the earliest child casing I found here, at least. Not ever in ways of Kenya and DHL casings anyway I found some from before, before World War 1 um, yeah I'm gonna carry on maybe there's more there maybe not uh, let's see now this is what I was hoping for as you can see it's another trench system well at least there's one trench here I haven't seen this one yet and I'm gonna explore it now I just left my detector next to a tree uh, let's go on a bit of an adventure. <laughs> so there's one curve here and it goes over there. Well, it seems to end there unfortunately. I think it just eroded away though. I'm definitely gonna check this with the detector now. I hope there's something to get here. Just found this nice button right next to the trenches over there and the interesting thing about this button is, as you can see, I cleaned it a little, it says Equipement Militaire, which basically translates to military equipment in French. So, could this be from the Napoleonic times? I'm pretty sure it is, because, as you can see, it's another handcrafted button. As you can see, there's a rim, and here is no rim, so it's... The stamp has been put on there by hand and not by a machine, otherwise it would be right uh, smack bang in the center. So, wow, this is really cool, another Napoleonic button, because, well, otherwise there's no French military activity here, because we're in Germany, <laughs> and it also has a nice patina, so, yeah, this is a really cool button. I hope there's more here, because, well, would make sense to have troops stationed here. Um, if there wouldn't be these trees, you'd see why. <laughs> I think uh, you can actually see why. As you can see, it goes very far down there, and you have. If there wouldn't be those trees, you would have a very um, good view of the entire um, village and stuff here. Well, I'm gonna carry on now. It was right there, about uh, three inches down, and. Yeah, I'll carry on. And another one of them. Lake City, 1943. Just found this, I think it's called a pipe snuffer or something. Uh, basically, it's just put on a smoking pipe and to keep it clean. Um, I found some before. They're always very bent and uh, pretty damaged. That's a pretty nice find. Um, yeah. Oh no, it's the miniature Death Star. No, it's gonna destroy everything. But here comes Luke Skywalker and boom, it explodes. <laughs> no, it's just a tennis ball. Whatever that is doing here, I mean, it's on top of a mountain in some random forest. What is this doing here? I have no idea, but well, there's a lot of junk here, so well, it kind of makes sense, I guess. Oh, that's a weird uh, Des Moines stamp, as you can see it's more in the style of the Twin Cities one. So, it's pretty rare to find these. I mean, I have about 20 with the normal Des Moines stamp, and this is probably the first. No, it's definitely the first. Oh, cool. Fortunately, it's broken there. But I got so many 50 cards, I really, really don't care. <laughs> I'll carry on. Just found this one from P25 and it's from 1923. Wow, it's really going back now. Also, you can see this um, ring here. 
this indicates that this one was refilled at a factory again because the Germans were low on gas um, at the end of the war. During, well, basically the entirety of the war, they always tried to recycle everything, so um, they always told the machine gunners and riflemen to collect these empty shell casings so they could be refilled. And, well, this is proof that this indeed happened. I found some that have actually been refilled twice, so they have two rings here and yeah, it's pretty interesting and this one is in really really nice condition. This will definitely clean up very nice. And the first one was there and the second one was here. So maybe there's some more here. Let's see. Just found this nice buckle. I think it's not that old. I think it's actually wartime because I found a couple of these or oh, ones that look pretty similar and well, I found some shell casings right there and right there so it would make sense that some soldier maybe lost something there and there's actually a um, beer bottle over there didn't film it um, yeah I'll carry on maybe there's some more interesting things here just found this piece of a flag 88 fuse um, right there and I found the buckle and the shell casings there and it's got some text on it, which is nice. It says 9FG1, and there's a 4, and there's half of a Waffenamt stamp. So it's a really cool find, actually, and um, maybe there's the other part with the other half of the Waffenamt stamp. <laughs> that would be cool, but I don't think I'm gonna find that. I'll carry on. I think something died here, as you can see. There's yeah, some bones. I think it's a leg or something. Oh, well, part of it. <laughs> Probably a deer or something. I found some uh, bones over there as well. Mm. Yeah, that's just how it is. <laughs> uh, if there's no one to clean them up, they're just gonna lay there and rot. <laughs> Look at this, an old hay fork. That's cool, there's some um, grassland over there. I keep forgetting what it's called, I'm so stupid. <laughs> Well, you know what I mean, so, yeah, um, pretty cool, but I'm not gonna take it, uh, I'll carry on. Yet another German shell casing in very nice condition, as you can see, it's from 1931, it's from Polto, and, yeah, just look at the head stem, it's in really good condition, I just cleaned it up a little by scraping it over the edge of my shovel, and it was under all these rocks there, as you can see. Right down there, under all these stupid rocks. Maybe there's some more there. I hope because they're in really nice condition. I'm gonna carry on now and shut up. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, if it's gonna focus, of course. Look, it's a um, exploded 30 cal. <laughs> Look at it. Wow, that. I bet it was an incendiary bullet and it hit the ground and it just exploded because it was right there. So the Germans were over there. And the US troops were firing down here. I think the, these trees weren't there because there's some grassland thingy <laughs> and they were just shooting across. So the US troops were there and the Germans were there. That's cool. I'll carry on now. Hello everyone and I'm back in, well that's not much of a surprise, back in Kreuzweingarten. I've been detecting for a couple of minutes and I so far um, well, I found a lot of trash and some shotgun shell casings, bottle caps, you name it. I found it, but the find I just got is really cool. As you can see, it's a German splittering of a M24 potato mesher hand grenade. Now that's cool. It was just um, on the surface right there beneath that and that rock and I just removed them and out came that. Uh, this is a really nice start because these are some German positions. I found some Mauser shell casings over there and uh, exploded 30 cal. I guess it was an uh, incendiary bullet over there and I hope here's some more. There's a lot of junk here as well because some people thought it was a good idea to d uh, dump all their clothes, clothes and stuff here so well that's but, but I don't care, this is a really good start. 
I'll come back to you if I have my next find. Any ideas on this? Just found this next to a German position over there, so maybe it could be World War II. It's got a screw thread thing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, <yeah. laughs> no idea about this one. If you know, please let me know. I'll carry on now. Any ideas? I have no idea what this is. This is. <laughs> Can't even talk anymore. I'll carry on now. Just found this brass plated German shell casing in this um, little position. I guess the. <sighs> Come on, just focus your stupid camera. Um, yeah, so I guess the Germans were situated around here and everything is full of mosquitoes. Anyway, so first of all the Germans were over there and I guess they just fell back to here to this little um, heap of rocks and they fired right there. So maybe he was in there, lying in there and fired this shell and there are some more signals around here. I guess it's some more... Um, Couple plated shell casings. Let's see. This one's still in nice condition. Well, uh, should be because look, I found this under all these rocks, and there's probably some more, but I'm gonna carry on because they're just steel shell casings. I mean, they're still nice, but I've got a couple of them, but this one's a really cool one. Um, let's carry on. So, I found a couple now, but what's interesting is. Not the shell casings, well, kind of, because, as you can see, they're not fired. The primers are not um, hit, but there's no bullets in them, so I guess the Germans gave up and just tried to make their ammo save and just threw it away. Yeah. <laughs> away, there we go. <laughs> hmm. Interesting, I bet there's more, but I'm gonna carry on now because I want to go somewhere else. Um, and just overall see what's in this forest here. There we go, oh, now it's even focused. <laughs> Let's see. I'm heading back to um, a different part of the forest because I want to go there and on the way I found one interesting shell casing. Now it's not from World War II, but um, I think this is Come on, focus your stupid camera. There we go, it's um, from 1951, and I guess it's uh, practice ammo or something from the NATO. Uh, yeah, found a couple of them here in the forest, but they were unfired and had a wooden tip. This one has been fired right on this field. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna carry on now. Now, what's this? It's made of aluminium. And well, that's about all I know. It's something that's screwed onto something. It almost looks like the bottom of a uh, potato measure hand grenade, but I don't think that that's what it is. Even though there's, I think it's a trench over there, going downhill. But I'm pretty far away from where I found the um, flex leaf. So let's see what else I can find here. Just found this, which is either one of the two things. One would be an artillery shell fuse, and two would be the fuse protection cap, and I think it's the second uh, thing. Because, um, hello everyone, I'm back in Kreuzweingarten today again. Um, I've already found a lot of trash, but I found one is interesting thing now. A German shell casing. Yep, come on. Well, it's from 1941, and also a special guest, History Secrets. He's over there somewhere minding his own business. <laughs> uh, he's fo already found a grenade shrapnel, and I'll also link his video and his channel in the description, so check him out if you want to. Uh, let's see what else I could find. Just found a really nice German 9x19 parabellum casing. As you can see, it is from... There you go, 1943, DNH. Right on this path. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Germans and Americans and British were fighting here, and 
Well, even on this path, I actually found a lot of 9x19 and 45 ACP and uh, pretty much everything. <laughs> so, I'll carry on now. Any ideas on this? Just found this on the path as well and I have no idea what it is. It's got a handle and some screw thingy, maybe for a truck or something. I don't know. The next find is yet another 50 cal, this time it's from Twin Cities, 1943. Nice one. Next find is really nice, as you can see it's a 20mm flag fuse. Ah, it's really cool, AZ49 I think it's called. Um, I'll clean it up and see. Oh, till then. Or not, I guess it's some kind of a part of an artillery shell fuse or something. It's definitely not a German one, but I found this exact bit um, already, but in a forest a few kilometers away, so which also was bombarded by artillery, so I guess this is just the top bit of an artillery fuse. Second one now. Uh, let's see. Well, it would make sense because I'm standing in a crater right now. Can't really see it, but... Uh, so I guess that makes sense. Let's see what else I can find, but first of all I gotta find <laughs> Nick for history secrets. He disappeared. <laughs> Let's see. Just found this aluminium thing. No idea what it is, but uh, could be interesting, but I don't know. Let's see. So, didn't even need to dig that one. So you can see some animal dug a hole here. And it seems to have found part of a fuse. Hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> Let's see, I think there's something on there. Oh yeah, there definitely is. Oh, that looks interesting. Oh, 1942. Can you see? I'll clean it up and show you. Yep, 1942 indeed, and I think it's an 88mm flag fuse and I'm not sure what it's made out of, I think it's zinc, because it's too heavy for aluminium, but it's definitely not brass, because I scraped it on the bottom, and it's, uh, well, silver shiny, so I guess it's zinc, and you can already see some corrosion of zinc, so, yeah, condition is still pretty good, though, for a zinc piece. Let's see what else I can find. Now this is just wild speculation, but isn't this part of a um, bunker lamp? So uh, these Bakelite lamps? I'm not sure because, well, this is Bakelite and this looks like a mirror or something, a lens um, for, well, a light or something. Hmm. Very interesting. I mean, it could be. It's very broken. So... I hope it is. <laughs> well, let's carry on. Just found a nice fork next to the tr uh, the trenches here. Oh, pretty cool. Let's see what else I can find. Now then, time for a roundup. Uh, it's about a week later or something, but I decided to do it now. I could do it earlier because I got a really bad cold. I think you can hear it right now, but... Yeah, I have it for a couple of days now and it's pretty awful and I'm feeling not very well but I decided to do it now because now I'm feeling a little better so let's get right into it. So it's of the last two hunts because of the last hunt, as a, um, the hunt before the last hunt actually, um, I haven't made a roundup video yet but I'm gonna do that now uh, so basically both hands. Alright, <coughs> sorry, I, I already said I have a cold and it's not over yet and just excuse any uh, coughing and such. Um, yeah, let's begin. So, let's get that out of the way, it's nothing to do with it. Um, well, the stick hand grenade, um, it's a splittering thingy. Quite nice, frag sleeve, yeah that's what it's called, um, it's pretty much all over the place because I don't know which things I found on what day, so let's just continue. Yeah, you have a 45 ACP bullet, in quite nice condition, ok, 
can see the lead core and here's the thirty cal no that's uh, another one which I haven't put away yet <laughs> that's the thirty cal from the video not cleaned really um, then we have this <laughs> I found this um, well, about a year ago actually but it's pretty interesting I found it next to the um, shoulder pip thingy of the well of a uniform of the Panzergrenadier Division Groß Deutschland and this one is from the Tag der Wehrmacht 1942 so <laughs> day of the Wehrmacht 1942 um, as you can see this is very very flat and in pretty shitty condition but it is one of these badges which is really cool so it would have had um, an iron cross as the back with some oak leaves and a sword going through and there's, that would have been a swastika and I'll put a picture of it up about now. If I remember to do it of course. Um, that... <coughs> sorry. Um, I think that thing. I also found there uh, nothing interesting. Um, that artillery shell thingy. Uh, well, you know what 50 cents looks like. Look like, and as you can see, there's a couple more right in there. Well, pretty much all the ammo I found, apart from these few, which I found on the different position. Of which are in really nice condition. Um, first one is P25 and it's from 1922. It's a really early one and for some reason it's got a very weird damage on it. As you can see there's like, looks a bit like a crosshair. <laughs> That's interesting. Then we have this one from 1894 and Funnily enough, this one's in the best condition, as you can see it's still gold shiny and looks, well, like brass. <laughs> it's a really cool one, I think it's from Spandau, I think it's Spandau, I think S was Spandau. Then we've got this one, which is P and 1931, also in really nice condition. By the way, this one has been refilled. Um, because Germany was short on... Um, brass shell casing so they could just toss them around like trash and they had to recollect them and refill them and everything so that's why you have these uh, rings around them I have some of these older types which have been refilled twice and that's because um, before 19 or something Germany did have the so-called Spitzer bullets or I think some American folks call it Spitzer but well, it's basically um, this. <laughs> um, before that, they had round nose bullets, so um, well, they're basically like these, just with a round tip. Uh, like, for example, the Carcano am ammunition. Uh, just take a look at them, and you'll know what a round nose bullet is. So yeah, they had to refill them because of that. But I guess this one just didn't receive the ring interestingly enough then we have this one from P again and from 1925 and this one uh, um, uh, what part is the date uh, this one's uh, the latest one it's from 1935 all in really nice condition and I'd love to find these there's just some laying around because I I'm gonna purchase another ammo belt and I want to put them up there. <laughs> um, let's see. Ah, yeah, uh, let's go with that. The um, stoneware piece of something. Pretty nice. Um, this really cool um, bronze buckle. As you can see, it's a, got a really nice pattern on it. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, then we've got this pipe thingy, I ma managed to get it straight, well, sort of anyway again, so that's 
around about what it would have looked like. Uh, then we've got this bottom equipment militaire. Uh, it's not as old as I hope, but it's around World War One, and I'm kind of wondering what it's doing right in the middle. Well, not in the middle, but in the west of Germany, because World War One didn't take place there. It's just weird. But it's a cool button. <laughs> And uh, then we've got this bottle cap thingy, but it's an old one, that's why I took it, otherwise I'd just have thrown it away. <laughs> um, it's from Zürich, which is a town nearby. Then we got this um, mug or whatever it is thingy, made out of copper and mother of pearl thing. Looks really cool. Then we've got this locket, uh, as you can see it's got some enamel paint on it and it would have had a it does still have this stone in it it's a pretty cool hard locket um then we go to well the second turn as well i guess um 88 millimeter flag fuses and it's interesting that i found two types so these are the ones i found um the last time and um, the interesting thing is, um, well, I found these there as well. So there's basically two types of these. Um, you can look them up. One is ZTZ um, S slash 30 and S slash 30 FG1. As you can see, we have the S slash 30 and S slash 30 FG1. And um, you can tell them apart also just by the shrapnel, um, I don't know which was what again. Well, it basically stands for Zeitzünder um, S30. I forgot what that abbreviation stands for, sorry. Um, so basically, uh, you can tell them apart this way because as you can see the shrapnel is a little shorter and this is of the same. And this is of the other one, as you can see there's another German Eagle. So this one's made of zinc actually, which is pretty rare, I haven't found one made of zinc before. This one's also cool because it's from 1942. I think this is, uh, well, out of this one, it's the only one which has a complete date. As you can see here there's a 19, if it would focus of course, but come on, there we go. Here you can see half of a German Eagle as well, Waffenamt, um, that's pretty cool parts, gotta say, and they're in really nice condition, especially the zinc one actually. Also a cool story about this, I didn't even have to dig it because uh, some animal decided to dig a hole right where the uh, shrapnel was and while it was digging out the dirt, popped the uh, fuse actually right next to it so it was just lying on the surface so that's pretty cool and then let's go to the other finds which I haven't cleaned because well I'm new and I don't want to do too much honestly so well you know what they look like when I found them so I don't really need to show you them so this nice fork First I was really happy because I thought it was a British fork, but it of course wasn't, it's just some random thing. And also this thing again, still don't know what it is, but it's interesting. <laughs> Sorry, um, wanted to show you something else, uh, but what, what was it, uh, ah yeah right. Because I was detected with history secrets and he has a um, military uh, shop, which I'll also link in the description, so check it out if you want to. Um, yeah, he gave me this shell casing. I asked him to take it with him and, well, he did, but... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Just dying a little bit here. <laughs> yeah, um... It was pretty green when I got it, but with a sand sponge thingy, I cleaned it up and it's really cool. But as you can see, it's from 1911 and it's a German 77mm uh, shell casing from the um, 
Feld, 77 mm Feldkanone 1896, I think, so 1896, neue, neue Ausführung, or whatever it was called, this N.A. Dot dot thingy. And also I found uh, this shotgun shell casing. I know it's not from World War II, but the US soldiers used shotguns and I think it just looks pretty cool in the collection just standing right next to all that stuff. No one's gonna know that it's not from World War II, but at least this time there's the wax stuff on it and paper thing. So yeah, it's just a nice little addition. So... I think... That was all. Um, if not, well, <laughs> that's my fault, but um, I'll see you in the next one. And I hope I don't die. <laughs> yeah, see you then.